So we tried to go to Delight yet again, but all of the buses were full. So we hopped on whatever bus we could and ended up being able to go to Biem T, which is another city kind of on the border of Cambodia and Vietnam. We got there pretty late, so we decided to just eat KFC for dinner, which made our stomachs hurt tremendously, and we were sick for like the whole next day. And when we finally recovered, we decided to go out to go to the national park, and of course it was pouring down rain. So. We put our jackets on and headed out and just hoped for the best. We had heard about being able to go there and take care of the elephants and like wash them and all sorts of stuff. So we asked around, asked our hotel, asked people we came across in the streets, but like no one knew what we were talking about. So we finally found a bus to the town that we thought we were supposed to go to, but it ended up being super touristy. It was like covered with people selling things and then there was what they called the elephants or whatever, but it was basically just this suspension bridge to an area where you can eat and ride elephants in a circle, and it was, like, awful. So we walked back into town and actually found Yachtan National Park, where we should have gotten off the bus. We listened to everyone else who thought we were going to the touristy place, and so they didn't tell us to get off in time. So really, we went probably five extra minutes on the bus, so 30 extra minutes walking. But we found Yachtan. They offer multi-day camping trips, hikes around the national park, elephant career, which is like where you wake up in the mornings and go with the elephant caretakers and help them to take care of the elephants. And like the riding thing, of course, because that's what a bunch of tourists want to do. We got there and we told them we wanted to help take care of the elephants. So we found one elephant, we rode it bareback down to the water, and there was a guy that was in front of us that was kind of directing the elephant around. So like he was holding on to me when I was holding on to him because it's basically like trying to stay on a horse that's eight times bigger than a horse without a saddle or reins or anything so it's kind of hard to grab onto but we were holding on to each other which seemed dangerous and then he got off and we all helped wash the elephant he handed me his like pitchfork thing which obviously I wasn't going to do anything with that so whatever but it was such a cool experience like we got to be in the water and just kind of play with the elephant swim around with it and like wash it off and then of course when we got back to put the elephant back in his home and like let them run free at the end of the day he went over and immediately picked up a bunch of dirt and like threw it all over himself so we were like oh okay well i'm glad you enjoyed your bath when we were going back we had to get back on the public bus and like i was worried because i was covered in water because we didn't bring changes of clothes so whatever we got on and there were two empty seats so they told us to sit down and we're like well okay so we sat down I'm sitting in a pile of like mud we get up and I like quickly run off the bus because I'm like oh my god we left like a puddle like we look like we pooped our pants on this bus so we leave and we're walking and I'm like oh wow something smells really bad and we're like sitting down for lunch I'm like oh my god something smells terrible it ended up being us we smelled horrible it took I don't know how many times I had to wash my swimsuit and clothes before all the mud and elephant poop and whatever came out of it, but it was gross. But the coolest thing was, like, everyone in the town kind of knew us. There weren't a lot of foreigners, so people were super excited. And we had, like, our restaurants and stuff that we'd walk by, and they'd all get excited to see us. Even the tourists kind of get excited by us. Many people really like taking pictures of Justin and send their kids to get pictures of them and stuff, so... I actually recorded one of the moments finally. And at lunch one day, some kids came over to us and asked if they could shake our hands, and they took pictures of themselves shaking our hands. It was really cute. All in all, we had a really fun time in BMT. Really hard to figure out where everything was because there weren't a lot of people there that like were tourists. And it was really hard for us to get back. When we were trying to find a bus to go to Dalat again, no one knew what we were talking about. And no, everyone said that there weren't any buses, so we kind of just had to walk around until we found the bus station. And... They had no more buses left to Dalat for a few days, so we just decided to go back to Na Trang since that was our only option. So I guess Dalat will hit on another trip. If you like my vlog, please don't forget to like, comment, and share with others. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks.